I waited for your call last night and you never called me. What happened? Jen, I'm sorry. I got home late last night and I was so tired. I just couldn't call you. Came away from last night. We had a family meeting at my uncle's place and it wasn't just ending in time. Anyway, let's drop that. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But not very fine without you, you know. Yeah, me too. We really need to spend some quality time together. Sure. It's been long. I miss that beautiful smile of yours. And I miss your magical touch. Wow. I feel moved. I can't wait to see you. Never mind. We shall soon be together enjoying those uh, quality moments that we miss so much. Jen, your beauty is like a verse in the Bible with unending revelation. Thanks, Kim. Um, with those words, I just don't know what to say. Sometimes you, you leave me speechless. Sometimes you make me feel nervous. Sometimes I don't know what to do whenever I see you. It feels like we were just meeting for the very first time. Really? I didn't know you felt that way about me. <laughs> anyway, uh, sweetheart, I have to do some work now. So, uh, have a good day. Have a nice day too. Bye. Bye. Good morning, Daisy. Good morning. Is everything fine? Yeah, everything is fine. I thought you'd be done with the cleaning by now. I started a bit late. Should have finished by now. Looks like you're oversleeping these days. Not really. It says that I got so tired yesterday. Are you saying you did everything on your own? Not that. Oh, I had some other commitments coming, that's why. What other commitments? I don't really want to talk about that. Personal. You really don't want me to know? Like I said, it's personal stuff. You know, if you're having any problems, you should not keep them to yourself. You should tell me. It's my responsibility to help. <laughs> I appreciate your concern and support, but sometimes some things are better left than said. Okay, I understand. If you want to keep it to yourself, it's okay. As long as it does not interfere with your daily routine. It was only for today. I know. But next time I won't tolerate any excuses for your delays. I hope you've heard me well. Whatever. Hi, John. Hi. Do you need a hand? No, thanks. I can take it on. All by yourself? Sure. All by myself. Do you need anything? Not really. Are you planning on uh, changing the setup? Why should I? Because I can see some of the changes that you've already made. Things won't change that much. Just a few adjustments. Well, you have to hurry up because it's getting late. Yeah, of course I know that and I'm doing my best. I want to see this place very neat and organized. Yeah, it's what I'm getting too. I don't want to see any kind of dust on anything. No stains, no dust. I want to see this place sparkling. It's always what I do. I don't see anything new. I know it's always what you do, but sometimes you don't do it right. Then why don't you just come and do it yourself? What? How dare you talk to me like that? It's because I've already heard what you said, but you're still bugging me with a lot of stuff. Bugging you with a lot of stuff? Listen, John, if you don't do what I've told you, you'll see what will happen. Finally, you are back. Yeah, I'm back. How is the morning? The morning is great. By the way, what happened last night? We all thought you were coming back. Man, I laid at the bar with some long time friends and the whole thing turned into a beer party. A beer party until morning? That can't be. Uh, you know, uh, as I was planning to get back home, some charming girls came in and they were too hard to resist. So, you're beginning to sleep around with prostitutes? Not sluts. They must have been campus students. 
students, they too are deadly. I see no big difference. Now tell me, what happened next? <laughs> we had fun, got so drunk, and in the morning, I decided to come back. How about the charming girls? I found myself in bed with one of them and I was shocked. <laughs> shocked? That's a lie. It must have been your decision and plan. So something must have happened there. Mm, I was too drunk. I'm not sure whether I really did anything. I think I should go take a bath. You really should. It was terrible, Lucy. I was not liking the way that Joanne was answering back at me. Did you say anything that upset her? No, I don't think so. I just... I was telling her what to do and then she said I was bugging her. Maybe you need to be a little bit soft on these girls. Soft? When I'm soft on them, they take me for granted. Both of them just can't do things in time. Even Daisy? Yeah, even Daisy. She's just there. She doesn't care. I'll try speaking to them. Maybe they'll listen to me. Yeah, for you maybe they will, but for me, I'm just about getting tired, Lucy. And I mean tired. You shouldn't give up. It's your responsibility. They are your sisters and our parents put you in charge. Our parents did put me in charge. But it's getting too hard for me, even though I'm trying my best. Maybe they've grown up, and now they feel they need some freedom to do things their own way. You talk of freedom. Give them all that freedom, and you see what this house will turn into. Don't be so hard on them. I believe they can change if you find better ways to deal with them. Better ways? What are the better ways, Lucy? Maybe you can give me some ideas or hints. No matter how soft and simple I am to be, I will not accept seeing those girls mess up by being lazy and irresponsible. Otherwise, I resign from this responsibility. Jane is so irritating. <laughs> what did she do? She was just there telling me to do everything as if I'm not the one who does that work every day. <laughs> She came here too, and she was also giving me stress. And on top of that, she goes ahead to say that I don't do it the right way. You mean she said that? Yeah, I got so pissed, I just blew it in her face. What did you tell her? Don't tell me you abused her. I told her that she was bugging me. What? Did you really say that? Or are you just joking? Sure, I did. It was just too much for me to take. Joan, you shouldn't have said that. That was so rude. She pushed me to that extent. If she hadn't, I wouldn't have said it. I understand, but you should learn to control your temper. It could get you into trouble. Trouble? <laughs> My goodness. I don't think there's any kind of trouble I can get into because of Jane. You know, she's the one in charge. I think she deserves a little respect. I know that, but she can only get that respect from me if she starts respecting me too. But you have to listen to what she says. I've listened long enough, and this time I feel she should start respecting me too. Hi, Jen. You must be so happy. Not really. I have lots of things to do. It looks like it's a very big day for you. I'm trying to make it a big day. Have you just woken up? Yeah, you know I came back very late last night. Yeah, like you always do. Yeah, of course, but it's no big deal. Let's talk about the party. What plans do you have? Gabby, there are no plans. What do you mean there are no plans? I don't want to discuss this with you. Why not? I'm your sister. How can you even say that? You're my sister, but you just don't care. Of course I care. That's why I'm here. Gabby, if you really cared about me, you would have started helping me with the housework a long time ago, but you stayed in your bedroom and slept. I already told you what happened. Why do you insist on blaming me? Because you would not change your programs just for one day and just for me. Well, if that's what you decided to keep in your mind and hold it against me, then go ahead with your plans. I'm not doing anything and I don't care. Fine. Come in. Wow, look who is here. Sean, you're most welcome. Thanks. You look gorgeous. Really? Why not? You must be flattering me. I mean it. I almost thought you were going to a fashion show. No, I'm just at home trying to set up a few things. Anyway, how are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm quite good. That's nice. Are you ready for the party? Not yet, but I'll soon be. 
How are the other guys? Those guys are fine. I think they're at home. Will they be coming? It's pretty obvious. Where else can they be when the big party is here? It's not really big as you think. It's big to us because Jane is a good friend of ours. She's caring, understanding, and loving as well. What more can I say? I knew you wouldn't leave out the loving bit. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely couldn't. By the way, is she around today? Yeah, she must be in her bedroom. Let me go and call her. Thanks. Okay. Jane? Sean is here to see you. Sean is here? Yeah, he's in the sitting room. Okay, tell him um, I'm coming. Okay. I think I'll wear this one. Is that your best choice? Yeah, I think it is. Why, do you have any doubts about it? No, I don't. You know what's best for you. Yeah, I know, but sometimes it's hard to make a choice when you have so many options. So, is it this one that I should iron for you? Yes, it is the one. I'll wear it. It's good for today. But you have to be careful with it. I hope you're not forgetting about Sean. No, I'm not. By the way, is everything okay those ends? Everything is perfect, just according to plan. Good. I think I've got your on Sean now. I hope he's not tired of waiting. I know Sean. He doesn't get tired so quickly. Do you really know him? Hm. You must be joking. Sean, you're most welcome. Thanks, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? Fantastic, what's going on? Nothing much, just making some birthday preparations. You must be tired by now. Not really, it's not that much work since we're a team. I can see, one group of powerful women only. Mm, I hope so. How's Kim? Kim is just fine. I know you just can't wait to be here. Are you sure? I'm sure because yesterday he said a lot about you. Mm, tell me, what did he say? Never mind. It's just simple men's talk. So you're hiding that from me? I'm not hiding anything. It's just like I want Kim to come and say those words to you by himself, not me taking the opportunity. Mm, you're so smart, Sean. You managed to escape. Men always have to find a way of escape. And what do women do? Women always find a place to hide, especially where men are. That's a lie. I don't buy that. If that is so, then also men escape from their partners to other women. <laughs> not exactly. It could be circumstances, situations, or thoughts. Anyway, I have to leave now. It's been good talking to you. Thanks, Sean. Hope to see you very, very soon. Thanks. The girl was so cool and so sweet. Hmm. But what makes you say that? He took me out and made me feel like a queen. How did he do that? He came with a Porsche car, opened the door for me and I sat. He then took me to some five-star hotel for a romantic candlelight dinner where I was treated like a VIP. <laughs> so, is he your new boyfriend? Yeah, he's a perfect gentleman. He gave me a lot of money. Okay, how much was it? I won't say. You'll think I'm lying. What does he do, by the way? He's a lawyer. Wow. What a big catch. Did he promise you anything? He promised to buy me a car in girl. I can't wait. I hope he's not taking advantage of you. Excuse me. I don't think he can do such a thing. He's not that kind of guy. Then you need to talk to him about getting married? Marriage. I'm not ready for that right now. Neither is he. You know these days you can't trust men that much. Don't be stupid, girl. That's why sometimes I don't tell you my secrets. Money is power. Trust is a myth. It might be that it may not. Then I think you're just making money. Think whatever you think or say whatever you say. I really don't care. my dress to ban Whose picture is that? That makes girlfriend of mine. 
Dă mi-a vedut. Wow! She is beautiful! Who is she? She is called Susan. She used to live in the neighborhood. Don't tell me you used to go in for neighbors. Love is love. I don't see any problem with that. Personally, I don't think it's a good idea to go in for neighbors. It could easily spark off a lot of chaos. Chaos? What kind of chaos? The girl will get to know a lot about you. Your strengths and weaknesses. She could easily catch you cheating. I know how to go about such a situation. Women are very sensitive, Fred. The longer they get to know you, the easier it becomes for them to catch you cheating. Can you prove that? Yeah. They could easily tell you're talking to other women just by noticing the change in the tone of your voice, your body language, or even your facial expression. Well, thank God I was never caught. So, what happened in the relationship? She wanted to get married and I wasn't ready. So her parents had already got the money to get married to and that was the end. What were you doing? Answer me. I had gone to get some water. Water? And you leave my dress to burn? I didn't mean to. How could you forget the iron on the dress? I just forgot. You forgot? How can you forget something like that? What if it burned down the whole house? I'm sorry. You're sorry? Do you know how much this dress costs? I don't. Then are you going to buy it for me? I didn't mean to leave it burn. I don't believe this. You're so careless. Huh? Do you know how much of a loss you've caused me? I said I'm sorry. I don't believe this. This is absurd. You need to be very careful in everything you do. Jen, what's going on? John just ruined my day by burning my dress. John, what happened? I just forgot to switch off the flat iron if I want to get some water. Where is the water then? Jen called me when I was still looking for the container I could use to carry the water. How could you be so careless? I just don't know how I forgot. I am sorry. Joan, you have to concentrate on what you're doing because I won't tolerate such mistakes again. She may have had many thoughts on her mind at the time. There is no excuse for such carelessness. Someone has got to learn to be responsible in whatever they do. I do understand, but you've got to forgive her. I already did, but she must change because there's a lot of damage she has already caused me. Jen, can you just forget the past and think about the future? If we don't fix this now, there will be no bright future. So shall we fix everything by quarreling with each other? It's not quarreling, it's mentoring and training. She has got to learn to be a responsible person. You should just calm down. You're telling me to calm down. Really, there's no difference between the two of you. Excuse me. Hello? Hello? Kim, hi, how was your day? My day is wonderful. How is yours? Mine's fair. Why is it fair? It's supposed to be great. Uh, just a few things that kind of stressed me up. I'm sorry for that. What things are those? Uh, it's nothing big, something small. I, I mean family stuff. So you don't want to talk about it? Yeah, I really don't want to ruin my day by bringing in that topic. If you insist, I have no objection, but I really feel sorry for you. No, I'll be fine soon. So. What's your plan for the day? I'm coming over to see you, then we shall talk about the plans. Wow, that's a great idea. Actually, I'm thinking about helping you out in the battle preparations. That's so good of you, Kim. Let me prepare to come. See you there. See you, sweetheart. I just don't know why she's being so hard on me. She's just like that, but she'll soon come down. I doubt that, because day by day the situation is getting worse. What do you mean getting worse? Oh, 
She attacked me when I was cleaning the sitting room and this time it was another great opportunity for her to haunt me. I don't think she did it in bad faith. I think she hates me. What makes you say she hates you? Because she never says anything good about me. She can only see and comment about my mistakes. I know she's tough, but you're so wrong about saying that she hates you. Jen is your sister. She can't be against you. You are defending her because she doesn't do that to you. She does that to everyone. She's just trying to play her role as the woman in charge. Then I think next time she should learn how to mind her own business because I won't take in that nonsense again. You call that nonsense, but remember you're the one who messed up because of your carelessness. So if you don't do the right thing and keep blaming other people, next time I won't defend you. Do you really mean that? I mean it.